Hi guys, today we're going to show you how we did the installation of the Raptor slide in 2020 Toyota RAV4. First, I'll show you how they look in the off state. They are located right here, four of them. Let's turn them on. This is how they look. Lights will turn on when you turn the ignition on. We used one of the fuses uh, in the fuse box to install our lights. We had to first remove this lock right here and this plastic cover to get access to the grill and our lights are located right here uh, two of them are installed on one bracket and we have two brackets total one on this side and one on the other side uh, the lights are being secured with double-sided tape i will show it later in the video how this works and right here we have uh, the wiring we have four connectors connected to one per light and the wire goes underneath here and gets installed inside the fuse box uh, right here we have the 12 volt wire which uh, runs through this opening which we had to make um, and then it gets connected to this fuse slot the proper orientation for the fuse step is like this when the end of the uh, fuse step faces the front of the vehicle this way the fuse will work as it's meant and as I said the wire goes like this and this way you can easily uh, close the cover the ground gets connected to this bolt on the body of the vehicle uh, but we'll show you all uh, the full detailed installation shortly and let's take one more look in a more darker area let's turn the lights on and again this is how they look they do add more style to the vehicle in my opinion uh, let's see how they work together with the uh, uh, headlights so right now we have our uh, marker lights working and the headlights and yes i must say i actually like it If you guys like this product, I will leave the link in the description. It's available at Car Trim Home website. Check them out, and uh, right now we'll show you the full installation process. First, we will remove all the plastic plugs. You can use the trim removal tool or the screwdriver. There are five of them. Now we will be using the 10 millimeter socket to remove all the bolts. Now we can remove the plastic cover. access to the front grill we'll show you what comes in the set we have four lights total two sets on the brackets and they will be installed in these openings one two three and four now to get these pieces secure uh, it uses tape double-sided tape which uh, 
may not be the best way to hold them in place uh, it may or may not work we'll have to test and see how long they will last like this another thing you can do is add silicone in these places to secure it better to give you an idea how these pieces get secured uh, this lower bracket will be installed like this so it will go underneath this plastic same on this side and on the top as you can see one piece we already bent them to the way they should be so one piece will get secured will get attached to the plastic above and this piece will get attached over there it's hard to show it but i'll try to do as much as i can uh, the situation is similar on the right side it is slightly different and this is approximately how it looks based on how it was bent right here we have the main wiring we have four connectors that will get connected to the lights and on the other end uh, we have two wires that will be connected to the fuse box This is how the light looks from the inside. As I said, we have one uh, piece of tape right here, one on this side, and one above, I believe, and one like this. And here we have the second set installed. This is how it looks from the outside. And this is how it looks from the inside. Uh, similar idea. The brackets will grab the plastic uh, underneath on both sides and on the top we have uh, these two pieces holding the light in place. Right now we will connect all four connectors to all lights. We will use this opening underneath this plastic cover to run the wire which will go first through this small hole and then it will go through the second hole inside and will exit from underneath the beam and will reach the uh, fuse box. We will use uh, some zip ties to hold the wires together and they will get attached to one of these holes. We'll be using these uh, type of connectors, they come in uh, male and female. And here we have the other end, the female, which uh, this will get connected to the grinding bolt and now we'll be using the hole which we made in the fuse box a small hole which we drilled right here you'll see where the wire will come out this will allow us to safely run the wire without drilling the cover or causing any damage to the uh, fuse box.
as you can see using one blue and one red connector uh, and this will still work because one of them is male and the other one is female and this is the main requirement for these connectors the fuse that we shall use is located right here it's uh, the right bottom one in the set of six fuses install the uh, fuse into the new fuse tab and connect the fuse tab and now as you can see we can easily close the cover and our wire exit underneath the fuel box the grounding wire will be connected to one of these two uh, bolts which are located on the body of the vehicle and these are the dedicated grounding points here we have our grounding wire connected to the uh, existing grounding wire and right now we will tighten the bolt the fuse that we are using only becomes active when the key is in ignition on position and that's exactly when our lights will turn on and this is how our lights look like if you guys like the product i will leave the link in the description check them out Thank you for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.